Okay, so um, good morning and good evening, everyone. So welcome to uh, today's summer season uh, IG seminar, um, sorry, uh, Immune Zoom seminar. And um, I just want to uh, repeat it one more time. Uh, actually, uh, from this month on, from June, we actually start the summer uh, particular session of Immune Zoom. Uh, basically, we have um, two time uh, seminar uh, per week. And then once is in the middle of the week, usually um, uh, Wednesday and the ones is the, during the weekend. Um, so usually uh, Sunday or Saturday. So uh, yeah, I hope to see you or uh, guys online um, uh, during the summer. So um, today it's really, really my great pleasure to welcome uh, today's speaker, Dr. Uh, Li Lingye. Uh, from Third Military Medical University. Uh, so Li Ling is a uh, full professor now in the Third uh, Military uh, Medical University um, and also Associate Director of Institute of Immunology. So uh, Li Ling actually uh, completed his undergraduate study in China Agriculture University in Beijing and then continued to pursue his uh, PhD training in immunology in uh, University of Maryland, actually very close to NIH in uh, College Park. And then uh, after he completed his uh, uh, PhD training, he uh, continued to pursue his postdoc uh, re research program in Emory uh, Vaccine Center with Rafi Ahmed, who actually gave us uh, a wonderful uh, seminar a few months ago. So from 2013, uh, Lili actually uh, completed his training and then started his independent research program uh, as assistant professor in Institute of Immunology in Third Military Medical University uh, until very today as full professor. So um, Lili's uh, uh, lab actually particularly interested in uh, T-cell mediate immune responses to both ac acute and then chronic viral infection and then cancer. So uh, within this uh, field in viral immunology and then tumor immunology, uh, his lab focused on the key role of T cell response in their occurrence, uh, development, and metastasis of uh, chronic viral infection and tumors, as well as the um, transformation, modification, and then induction of T cells for uh, both immune therapy of uh, chronic uh, viral infection and tumors. He actually really, uh, his lab actually really made uh, a numerous, uh, really uh, uh, groundbreaking discovery, which including the key uh, CXCR5 positive CD8 T cell subset against uh, chronic infection, and also to uh, illustrate the key mechanism of TCF1, which they, which they can initiate the TFH cell fate differentiation of antibody. Uh, production and also a review the mTOR signaling, uh, which promotes the transformation of T rex cells into uh, T follicular uh, cells, and then also uh, discovered the uh, tumor environment, which induce uh, systemic and uh, immune suppressive uh, rebel cells, precursor cells, and inhibit uh, the function of antigen specific T cells. And last but not least, also they try to develop a novel strategy for the design of mucosal vaccine. Um, which actually uh, broke through the uh, bottleneck of the mucosal subset subunit vaccines and was used in the was used in the development of uh, different subunit uh, vaccines. So with all these um, uh, discover and the publications, uh, Yeling uh, leading get numerous of uh, uh, really prestigious awards, which including uh, 2017 Wuxi Apt uh, Aptac Awards uh, Life Science. And then 2018, a National uh, Distinguished uh, Youth Scholar. And then 2021, he got China uh, Chou Shi Award. So I think uh, particularly I'm impressed with uh, uh, Li Ling's um, achievement is actually uh, his lab is really uh, uh, cultivate, cultivate a, a numerous uh, great students and then uh, to uh, make a quite uh, marvelous uh, achievement during his uh, research uh, program. So without further ado, I believe Leading going to tell us about CD8 T cell responding to the PDL1 and PD1 uh, immune therapy. So uh, Leading, welcome today, and then we are very much looking forward to your talk. Please go ahead. Okay. Um, thanks, Chuan. Thanks for your uh, 
kind invitation and uh, generous uh, introduction. Uh, okay, uh, good morning uh, or maybe uh, evening. And uh, today I'm going to do is the topic regarding multiple layers of CD and T cell responders to PD-1, PDR1 immunotherapy. As you all know that uh, tumor specific CD8 T cells play a critical role in the immune surveillance against uh, malignant cells. Uh, basically, these cells can use their, can engage their uh, TCR uh, with peptide MHC complex presented on the uh, surface of malignant cells, uh, followed by uh, secreting cytolytic molecules such as uh, granulums and the porphyrins, and eventually leading to the apoptotic or uh, other pro uh, programmed cell dyes uh, of malignant cells. Uh, however, uh, occasionally uh, malignant cells can evade CD8 T cell mediated. Uh, immune surveillance, uh, mainly through uh, so-called uh, immune uh, editing, and they eventually uh, form a solid uh, tumors, whereby uh, tumor immunosuppressive microenvironment, shorten as time, can be established. Generally, uh, time uh, can be characterized as uh, deprived uh, nutrition, are devoid of uh, oxygen uh, and the uh, immune and the composite of immune uh, suppressive cells such as MDSC, TREG, TAM, M2, and the uh, CAF uh, and so on, as well as the soluble uh, inhibitor molecules such as I2 and uh, IL10. Uh, in the context of Time, a continuous tumor antigen elimination uh, finally drives the uh, functional exhaustion of tumor specific uh, CD the T cells. Actually, the concept of T cell exhaustion is further discovered in mouse model of chronic viral infection with uh, RSMV colon 13 strain infection. Uh, basically, in this model, uh, they found that versus specific CD the T cells were severe there, but uh, with much compromised effective functions as well as proliferative potential when uh, re encountering with the uh, similar antigen elimination. And the uh, and these factors uh, are, are, are defined as uh, T cell exhaustion. And then later on, uh, T cell exhaustion was uh, generalized into uh, human chronic infections such as HIV, HPV, and uh, HCV. And uh, more notably, uh, T cell exhaustion uh, is also found in a wide spectrum of uh, human uh, cancers. Uh, in Contrast to uh, T cell exhaustion developed in uh, either chronic viral infection or uh, cancer, uh, memory uh, pool of CD T cells can be established in acute inf viral infection or a vaccination. And in both cases, uh, a small frag uh, fraction of infected CD T cells, uh, also called memory precursors, can further differentiate into uh, memory CD T cells when viral antigens or vaccine antigens are, are totally clear. Uh, the uh, basic or uh, canonical features of memory CD the T cells uh, mainly uh, include uh, two aspects. First, uh, these cells can be very long lasting, uh, mainly by antigen independent self renewal. And the second, these cells are highly proliferative and, uh, uh, and they can undergo very rapid effector conver conversion uh, upon re encountering uh, coagulated antigens. So, uh, liter uh, literally, a single naive CD T cells 
can uh, make it two opposite uh, fit choices after the being activated uh, in the case of acute infection, uh, uh, the activities activity the CD T cells will first differentiate into uh, infected cells. When antigen is cleared, uh, the, the, the memory uh, precursors can further differentiate into uh, polyfunctional, polyfunctional uh, memory CD the T cells. Uh, these cells can undergo uh, uh, self renew and maintain uh, their pool for a long time. And they also uh, uh, I don't need to press any uh, checkpoint uh, receptors such as the PD1, TIM3, uh, NEC3, uh, and so on. And the, uh, those cells uh, are also long lived without a very, very limited apoptosis. Uh, when uh, uh, facing uh, antigen resetimination, uh, re uh, those memory CDT cells can undergo rap rapid. Uh, proliferative burst and uh, uh, rapid uh, convert convert into uh, infected CD the TCRs again with uh, any production of uh, an array of cytokines uh, such as in different gamma king alpha alpha in the nuclear ten uh, in the nuclear two and it can execute uh, satellite uh, very robust satellites and the, after the uh, the, the the antigen uh, uh, clearance again uh, the second memory can actually be established in contrast to uh, acute infection uh, in cancer or chronic viral infection uh, activity the CD T cells uh, take uh, words away from early exhausted uh, to uh, down to the terminally exhausted uh, CD the T cells. Uh, basically, uh, this so-called exhausted city the uh, T cells, uh, the undergo very limited self uh, renew, and they almost lose uh, their proliferative uh, potential and the effect functions uh, after the um, uh, antigen uh, resetimination. Uh, remarkably, uh, those cells can upregulate regulate very high levels of checkpoint receptors uh, such as the PD1, TIM3, uh, and so on. And those cells are also very prone to die of apoptosis. So uh, basically, uh, exhausted CD T cells developed in chronic viral infection and the cancer share a lot of uh, common features. And today, I'm going to focus on the, the, the last one, that is uh, exhausted the CD T cells can partially respond to PD-1, PDR one immune checkpoint blockade, uh, shortened as ICB. Actually, uh, this point was uh, was also first uh, is established uh, in um, most model of chronic viral infection with RSMV uh, clone 13 uh, strain, uh, whereby uh, the, 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 they found that uh, compared to uh, functional memory CD the T cells, exhausted CD the T cells highly upregulate uh, PD1 molecule uh, at both MRI and uh, uh, protein and levels. And the <clears throat> a blocking of uh, PD1 pathway can, uh, can kind of reinvigorate uh, uh, exhausted CD T cells and bring down um, viral titers. And uh, such uh, phenotype was also observed in, in, in SIV uh, chronic infection model. And the almost in the meantime, uh, Dr. Levin Chen's group also found that a uh, blocking of uh, PD1, uh, which is the, the, the uh, which they first identified and uh, given name as B7H1 uh, can uh, can also uh, potentiate uh, cancer immuno uh, cancer immuno uh, therapy, and uh, this uh, pioneered uh, work uh, uh, lays the solid uh, ground for the upcoming uh, uh, clinical uh, application of ICB uh, in uh, cancer patients. And the uh, rest of it is just the uh, history, uh, PD-1, PDR one immune checkpoint uh, blockade uh, 
uh, has been awarded the Nobel Prize to um, Dr. Uh, Anisin and uh, Hongju, and a bunch of uh, monoclonal antibodies targeting uh, PD-1 or PD-L1 have been approved by FDA to treat a wide spectrum of uh, human cancers. Uh, despite uh, such great achievements of PD-1 or PD-L1 ICB, uh, this immunotherapy still uh, uh, faces uh, a lot of uh, great challenges. First, uh, not all cancer types, types can respond to PD-1, PD-L1, ICB. Uh, for example, uh, glioma, uh, pancreatic cancer, uh, and prostate cancer are almost inert to uh, PD-1, PD-L1, ICB. And even in responding cancer types, um, only about 20 uh, to 30 percent of patients can benefit uh, from ICB. Uh, uh, basically suggesting that the majority of uh, patients cannot respond to, to, to this immunotherapy. And uh, uh, third, uh, the re uh, tumor recurrence uh, frequently uh, occurs after um, ICB treatment stops. Uh, and the fourth, uh, the adaptive res re uh, resistance often happens after the, the initial uh, response. And the last uh, immune-related uh, Adverse effects is also a big issue for uh, for this treatment. Uh, to uh, tackle uh, uh, those challenges uh, from the uh, perspective of basic immunology, uh, we uh, we think that we need to first better understand I found the question regarding uh, PD one PDR one immune checkpoint blocky uh, that is. Uh, what types of exotic CD TCLs uh, do virtually respond to PD-1, PDR1, ICB? Uh, to answer uh, this question, uh, using uh, mouse model of chronic viral infection with RSMV colon 13 uh, and samples from uh, patients of HIV chronic uh, infection with uh, we revealed that uh, a fraction of uh, virus specific uh, CD TCRs here marked as a titanium positive CD TCRs uh, virtually express uh, chemokine receptor CSR5 uh, in lymphoid tissues, uh, including spleen and lymph uh, lymphoid in mice and uh, lymphoid in, in patients of HIV chronic uh, infection. Uh, literally, uh, it's rather uh, uncommon for uh, CD the T cells to eat the price chemokine receptor CX, CXCR5. Generally, uh, B cells uh, and uh, follicular herb T cells, also called uh, TFH cells, uh, generally eat the price uh, CX, CXCR5 to enable them to migrate to B cell follicles, uh, whereby a lot of uh, CXCR5 neg and CXCR13 uh, is, is parsed. Uh, actually, uh, in our uh, uh, TFH study, we have found that uh, CXCR5 is the price in TFH cells, uh, also is the price uh, a transcription factor, uh, TCF1, uh, which functions to initiate the uh, feed commitment of TFH cells at the uh, early stage of acute viral uh, infection. And uh, uh, naturally, uh, we wonder whether CXCR5 is the pricing uh, CD the TCLs also is the price of transcription factor TCF1. And the, 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 the answer is simply yes. Uh, we found that uh, in, the, in, in the chronic viral infection virus specific uh, CD TCLs, uh, when the, the price CSR5 uh, also uh, Commentantly, uh, commentantly, uh, it the price transcription factor TCF1. Uh, since TSF1 is a marker for uh, memory uh, TCLs or sedimentary cells, and the CSF have a positive TCF1 positive cells have been given a lot of different names, such as 
memory legacies, progenitor of exotic TCOs, uh, sedam legacies, a uh, precursor exotic TCOs, follicular like uh, TCOs, and so on. Whatever uh, the limit is, uh, actually, we are, we, are, we are just talking about uh, the uh, same subset. And furthermore, we uh, compared uh, 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 exogenous markers uh, such as PD-1 uh, and TIM-3 uh, between CSI-5 positive and CSI-5 a negative versus specific uh, city TCOs, uh, TCOs. We found that uh, compared to CSR5, uh, negative compartment uh, CSR5 series, uh, it press much lower of uh, exogenous markers, uh, uh, including both the PD1 and the uh, and the TIM3, whereas this series it press the much higher levels of uh, KRIG1, which is is a sedimentation uh, marker for 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 effector uh, CDD T cells. So this is a piece of data just that demonstrated that CXCR5 CDD T cells are just the nice exotic than CXCR5 uh, control cells uh, cells. To further uh, determine the differentiation relationship uh, between uh, CSIR5 positive CD TCOs and CSIR5 negative CD TCOs. We further uh, constructed uh, CSIR5 IRS GFP reporter mice. Uh, then we infected uh, these uh, reporter mice and the B6 white mice uh, with RSMV kernel 13 uh, string. Uh, and then we sorted the rather specific GFP positive series or GFP uh, negative series, then transferred uh, those series into infection match the B6 uh, recipients. Uh, then we, we, we just track the, the, the further differentiation of uh, those uh, congenic uh, market series. We found that uh, GFP positive versus specific CD the T cells uh, gradually uh, turned into GFP uh, negative cells, where GFP uh, negative cells can never be uh, converted into GFP uh, positive cells. Given that uh, CSF5 positive cells are much less exalted than CSF and CXCF5 negative cells, so this piece of data just uh, uh, illuminate that uh, TCFM positive, CXCF5 positive CD T cells function as progenitors of exalted T cells, uh, shortened as TPEX cells. And uh, uh, similar observations uh, were also made uh, in other types of chronic viral infections, uh, including HCV, HIV, uh, HBV, uh, and so on. And, uh, TPEX series uh, are also found uh, in, in, in a lot of different types of, uh, of uh, preclinical muscle uh, cancer models, as well as uh, human cancers. Uh, and more notably, uh, uh, six, uh, when adoptive transfer of uh, CXCR5 positive cells, but not CXCR5 negative cells, can uh, synergize with uh, PDR1 uh, uh, immune checkpoint blockade to maximally uh, bring down virus uh, titers uh, in, in uh, chronic inf uh, infected mice. So uh, this data uh, in, in, uh, in both spleen and uh, lung tissues uh, of infected mice. So uh, this data uh, uh, just the, it establishes that versus specific CXCR5 CD uh, positive CD T cells, but not versus specific CXCR5 negative cells can, function, can functionally respond to PD-1, uh, PDR1, ICB. And later on, uh, TPEX cells uh, are also found to respond to uh, PD-1 uh, and the PDR1, ICB uh, in multiple uh, preclinical mouse models uh, in 2019, uh, one immunity paper and one later immunology paper paper uh, both show that uh, TCFM uh, 
positive uh, uh, TPS series uh, or virtually uh, red bonding to uh, PD1 ICB uh, in mouse models of, of cancer. And the uh, TPS series uh, are also found to uh, be posit uh, positively correlated to the uh, clinical outcomes of PD1 ICB uh, in patients. And uh, this, this subset uh, was also found to uh, mediate the response of adoptive theory, uh, cell immunotherapy with uh, tumor infer infiltrated T lymphocytes uh, against the uh, human cancer, uh, which was done by uh, the uh, Stephen Rosenberger's group. So to uh, summarize this part of work, uh, basically uh, just like uh, highly heterogeneous uh, populations of memory CD T cells, uh, which include at least uh, central memory me central memory cells, effective memory cells, and the tissue resident memory cells. Uh, exalted CD T cells also comprise of uh, very uh, had a uh, very uh, phenotypically and functionally uh, heterogeneous uh, subsets, at least including progenitor exalted TCLs, uh, transitory exalted TCLs, and the terminal uh, exalted uh, TCLs, among which uh, only uh, progenitor exalted TCLs, uh, TPEX cells can. Um, uh, come um, red bound to uh, PD1 uh, ICB. And then now uh, let's um, uh, uh, move forward to uh, a tumor story. Um, it's, uh, it had been widely uh, acknowledged that pre existing TPEX cells localized in TME are the major cell subset to red bound to. Uh, to uh, PD1, PDR1, ICB. However, uh, uh, such a uh, point uh, was challenged by uh, uh, in several aspects. And the first, accumulating uh, evidence uh, just uh, shows that the systemic immunity might be very important for effective uh, cancer immunotherapy with uh, PD1 or PDR1 uh, ICB. Given that the treating lymph nodes uh, govern uh, the TMIC CD the TCL responses, so uh, no wonder uh, a lot uh, a lot of different uh, reports uh, have demonstrated uh, that treating uh, lymph nodes uh, tumor treating lymph nodes uh, just play a very important role uh, in, in in mediating PD one uh, PDR one. Uh, ICB uh, against uh, tumors. So uh, focusing on uh, tumor-specific CD T cells in tumor draining lymph nodes, uh, we are uh, much interested in answering uh, two uh, very fundamental questions. And the first, uh, how about the differentiation states of tumor-specific CD T cells in tumor draining lymph nodes? And the second, uh, any type of tumor specific CD T cells in uh, TDRNs were respond to uh, PD1, uh, PDR1, ICB. Uh, toward uh, this end, uh, we 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 uh, we mainly use uh, P14 uh, cell models, uh, which is just pretty much like OT1 cells uh, with their transgenic TCR specifically recognizing RSMV glycoprotein derived uh, properties. Uh, we first uh, set up uh, RSMV acute uh, viral infection, uh, chronic infection, and uh, uh, bis and uh, B16 F10, uh, F10 uh, melanoma expressing RSMV uh glycoprotein epitope and uh, then we sort uh p14 cells uh from different uh, tissues uh of um 
mice uh, with different uh, disease uh, models. Then we uh, perform a single cell RNA sequence of these uh, P14 uh, cells. Uh, uh, by UMAP analysis, uh, we can find that uh, basically uh, uh, P14 cells from uh, junior lymph nodes or, uh, or, or splines of uh, D200 Armstrong uh, inf infected uh, mice. Uh, they are um, highly uh, enriched in clusters one and two, which are defined as a canonical um, uh, memory cells because they highly express uh, memory markers such as uh, R7 receptor, uh, CD62 uh, 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 legatin, uh, TC, TCF1, uh, <clears throat> and so on. Mm. And uh, PC analysis also reveals that P14 cells from uh, tumor drilling lymph nodes and uh, and siblings of uh, Armstrong D200 infected mice, uh, those cells are much neighboring uh, to each other. So uh, those data together uh, just the, uh, just the, uh, suggested that uh, possibly uh, there might be the presence of a memory featured subset of tumor specific CDT cells uh, in during lymph nodes. Uh, to further uh, confirm this point, we uh, set up uh, another um, mouse uh, tumor model. Uh, basically, uh, this is this is uh, is a tumor uh, model uh, of non adenal carcinoma. Uh, which was induced by uh, nativars uh, with uh, cross um, cross mutation and uh, p p p fifty three uh, nodes, and we also uh, included uh, over protein uh, in this system as a model uh, new antigen. Uh, uh, Ten weeks post the the the, the nativars. Uh, uh, induction. Uh, we first uh, uh, use titramer uh, to over titramer to uh, define uh, tumor specific uh, CD the T cells. Then we use a uh, memory marker uh, TCF1 and the exogenous marker TOX to uh, phenotype uh, tumor specific CD T cells in tumor during lymph nodes. It turned out that. Uh, I, I, I subset of tumor specific CD the T cells uh, in the price uh, TCF1, but not in the pricing talks. And we further uh, compared uh, classic memory uh, markers uh, such as CD122, CD127, and CD62. Uh, legatin between titramer positive TCF1 positive target negative CD T cells and titramer positive TCF1 positive target positive CD T cells. And uh, what you can see here uh, was that uh, those memory uh, markers are much more abundant on, on, on TCF1 positive target negative cells than, uh, than a double positive CD the T cells. So this data together suggests that uh, there, there, there potentially uh, have memory featured CD the T cells uh, in tumor drilling lymph nodes. So here just the comments a very hard core question. So are uh, TCF and positive targets negative tumor specific CD T cells bona fide memory T cells? If they are they should match all the uh, basic criteria for for uh, for uh, memory CD T cells uh, shown as uh, below. And uh, furthermore, if the uh, bona fide memory CD T cells, uh, they should not have uh, so called epigenetic scars uh, in corresponding uh, genome. And uh, epigenetic scarring uh, is just defined as the 
uh, you are visible opening chromatin states at the gene nodes that are key molecules associated with uh, T cell exotin, such as the PDCD1 and the TOX. Basically, this, uh, such a concept was uh, is established by four nature immunology papers uh, side by side in 2021. So first, uh, we just look at the long-term persistence of TDRN uh, tumor-specific uh, 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 memory CD T cells. We just uh, in, uh, in simple, we just call TDRN TTI7 cells. Uh, in, the, in the absence of antigen sedimentation. Uh, for, uh, to this end, uh, we just uh, sorted uh, TDRN, uh, TTSM, P14 cells, uh, and mix them with either conventional memory CD T cells or TPEX cells, either from tumor microenvironment or uh, tumor drilling nephilos at a one to one ratio. Uh, then we enabled uh, those mixtures mix with uh, proliferation and in, in, in dye, and then we, uh, 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 then we adopted uh, transfer uh, all of the cells into uh, B6 uh, recipients. At the day 60 post cell transfer, uh, we analyze the, 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 the proliferation and the, the ratio uh, between all of these cells. Uh, it turned out that uh, at day six, the post uh, uh, cell transfer, um, TDRN, TTI7 cells uh, underwent a much similar uh, cell for a renewal uh, with, uh, uh, with uh, a conventional memory uh, CDT cells, which was uh, much intensive uh, than uh, TDRN derived TPEX cells or TME derived uh, TPEX cells. Uh, as a result, uh, also at day 60 post cell transfer, uh, we found the maintained one to one ratio uh, between uh, TDRN, TTSM cells, and the conventional memory CDT cells. However, uh, the, the ratios between TDRN, TTSM, and the TDRN, TPI cells, or uh, TDRN, TTSM cells, and uh, TME, TPI cells have been turned into uh, 6 to 1 or 15 to 1. So uh, this piece of data just to show that uh, TDRN, TTSM cells are pretty much uh, long lasting in, even in the ab absence of antigen uh, sedimentation. And uh, uh, second, uh, uh, we, we just look at uh, the, their proliferative uh, potential and the effector uh, conversion of uh, TDRN TTSM cells upon uh, virus re challenge. And uh, it turned out that both uh, TDRN TTSM cells and the conventional uh, key memory uh, cells uh, underwent uh, almost uh, more than 100 for the changes in terms of absolutely uh, absolute number, which are much higher than those of uh, than those uh, of TDRN uh, TPI cells and the TME uh, TPI cells, and the, uh, also uh, uh, T, T, uh, TDRN TTSM cells and the TME uh, conventional uh, T memory cells. Uh, Z can be uh, driven to uh, further differentiate it into effector cells, uh, which are marked by uh, KRG1 and uh, in different gamma uh, plus uh, TNFF. So uh, only around uh, maybe just 30% or 20% uh, of uh, TME TPI cells or TDRN TPI cells uh, can be converted into such effector cells. So uh, this data together uh, just demonstrated uh, that TDRN, TTSM cells can undergo very robust proliferative burst and very rapid effect conversion upon uh, virus rechanning. And the third, uh, uh, just based on their uh, long-term persistence, uh, very robust proliferative burst, 
and the rapid effective uh, conversion uh, TDR and TTSM series uh, just uh, provide uh, uh, very, very good uh, immune protection uh, uh, to uh, a host of the mice that were re-challenged with uh, the deuterium, the pricing, RSM with global protein, uh, just the, as well as uh, uh, those protected by conventional memory uh, CD TCRs. Uh, in contrast to 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 uh, those um, uh, memory cells, uh, TDR and T-packet cells and the TME T-packet cells uh, pro provide a very limited uh, protection uh, to those host uh, from uh, rechallenge with the new bacteria. bacteria. In, in, uh, in both liver and subunit tissues. And the next, that we uh, did uh, a tactic of uh, TDRN, TTSM cells, and the TDRN, TPEG cells. And we also use the published uh, data of kernel 13 TPEG cells. And uh, we found that there, uh, there, uh, just the new uh, so-called epigenetic scars uh, in a uh, defined uh, region of uh, PDCD1 uh, and toxin no side shown as uh, red uh, arrows here. So uh, basically, this data uh, just show us that that uh, new epigenetic scars at PDCD1 and the uh, toxin no side uh, in TDR and TTSM cells. So uh, 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 together, uh, those, those, uh, those data uh, just uh, uh, show that uh, TCFM positive, toxin negative, tumor specific CD T cells uh, very much uh, strictly um, matches the, the definition of memory CD T cells. Uh, moreover, uh, they don't have any epigenetic, epigenetic scars in, in specific uh, genes associated with the T cell exhaustion. Uh, so uh, hopefully, uh, those data can convince you that TCFM positive, uh, toxic, toxic negative, tumor specific CD T cells are just the bona fide memory T cells. And the next, we did the ATAC-seq analysis, analysis of different antigen-specific CDT TCLs, uh, including uh, uh, TDR and TTSM cells uh, isolated uh, at a different time uh, post the uh, tumor cell inoculation, as well as other subsets of CDT TCLs, such as t cells, the TX cells, uh, T effect, effect cells, uh, memory precursor T cells, as well as memory CD T cells. And it turned out that uh, TDRN, uh, TTSM cells just exhibited very distinct uh, profiles of opening chromatin states from other uh, subsets of CD T cells. And the more notably, uh, it seems like the epigenetic program of uh, TDR and TTSM cells uh, was established as early as the day four uh, post uh, tumor cell inoculation and uh, just to keep unchanged uh, after the words. And the next, uh, we would uh, we, we we wanted to investigate the differentiation relationship. Uh, between TDR and TTSM cells and the TPEX cells. Uh, for this purpose, uh, we just sorted the uh, TDR and TTSM cells and the TDR and TPEX cells uh, from tumor bearing mice and then transferring uh, those cells to uh, tumor match the uh, recipients with effectivity. And uh, on day eight, uh, post the cell transfer, we found a uh, that uh, in uh, tumor drilling lymph nodes of receiving the mice, actually uh, about 20% uh, of uh, TDR and TTSM cells have been uh, converted into TOGAS positive uh, TPEG cells. However, uh, for uh, 
focus uh, positive uh, key passes, they can never be converted into uh, towards negative ones. Uh, and uh, in, in, uh, in tumor mapping environment, uh, both uh, TDRN, TTSM, and TDRN, TPEX derived uh, progeny series, uh, they finally uh, differentiate into uh, TCFM positive uh, progenitor exotic T-series or terminally differentiated exotic T-series. So this data together uh, demonstrated that TTSM series uh, can function as the, 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 the precursor of uh, GPS series in tumor draining uh, lymph nodes. And uh, those data together also uh, suggested uh, a, a linear differentiation mode of uh, TDRN, TTSM to uh, TDRN, TPEX. And then uh, those cells further differentiate into TPEX cells and TEX cells in tumor macro environment. And next, we we'll want to examine uh, whether TDRN, TTSM cells were actually responded to PD1, uh, PDR1 immune checkpoint blockade. To uh, this end, we uh, just uh, similarly uh, sorted the TDRN TTSM cells and the TDRN TPS cells uh, from uh, tumor brain mice. And then we transferred those cells into tumor uh, matched mice respectively. Uh, and then uh, those respected, those. Uh, uh, <clears throat> receiving the mice received three doses of anti-PDR1 antibody treatment. And it turned out uh, uh, that there were much here, both uh, number and uh, for the changes of, of uh, TDRN, uh, TTSM derived the P14 uh, cells uh, than those of uh, TDRN, TPEX derived P14 cells. Uh, in both uh, tumor draining lymph nodes and uh, uh, tumor tissues, uh, basically suggesting that TDRN, TTSM cells uh, respond much better uh, than uh, TPS cells to uh, respond to uh, PDR1 uh, immune checkpoint blockade. And uh, such observation was also recapped uh, in an in, in vitro uh, character uh, system. Uh, basically, we uh, also sorted uh, TDRN, uh, TTSM cells, and the TDRN TPEX cells, and the culture of them uh, in vitro uh, plus uh, anti CD3, CD28 antibodies, uh, and the PD1 antibodies, uh, either well as uh, IR2, for up to 72 hours. Uh, and consistently, uh, it ended up with uh, much more progeny uh, cells uh, from uh, TDRN, TTSM cells than those of TDRN, TPEX cells uh, in the culture uh, system. To further uh, confirm that uh, TDRN, TTSM cells primarily respond to PD-1 or PD-R1 ICB, uh, we, 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 we set up another um, a, a, a tumor model. Uh, basically, we uh, forced uh, B16, B16 cells to use price RSMV glycoprotein uh, as a model uh, new antigen, which also uh, convert uh, converts uh, the, this uh, cold tumor to uh, hot tumor. So in this case, uh, uh, anti-PDR1 uh, treatment uh, shown as uh, green line here, um, led, uh, led to a very nice uh, tumor control compared to, 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 to uh, untreated um, mice. And also, I coordinate if we uh, remove uh, tumor uh, draining lymph node uh, by surgery uh, before anti PDR1 treatment, and such uh, immunotherapy uh, immediately fail to uh, 
to to inhi inhibit the tumor growth shown here as uh, orange curve. Um, however, uh, very notably, uh, only adaptive transfer with TDRN, TTSM cells can uh, almost fully rectify uh, the under tumor effects of uh, PDR1 uh, ICB shown here as uh, red line here. Yeah, but uh, uh, TDRN, but the adaptive uh, transfer of TDRN T cells can very uh, can uh, can 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 worm uh, can not very well rescue uh, the the, the anti-tumor effects uh, of anti-PDR1 uh, treatment. So uh, basically, uh, these data uh, together uh, just show that uh, TDR and TTSM cells, but not the T cells, can uh, fully rescue PDR1 anti-tumor effects uh, in mice with uh, TDR removal. Uh, next, uh, based on their memory features, we also speculate that uh, TDRN, TTSM cells uh, might be much uh, better uh, to control tumor growth if used as uh, adoptive uh, cell uh, therapy. Uh, to test this hypothesis, uh, we just simply uh, sorted TDRN, TTS. TTSM cells, TDR and TPEG cells, and the TME uh, TEX uh, cells from tumor brain mice. Then we transferred uh, those different types of cells to uh, tumor brain mice and then monitor uh, tumor volume and uh, survival. And it turned out that uh, the, ado uh, the adoptive uh, transfer of uh, TDRN, TTSM cells were almost led to the complete remission of uh, tumor brain uh, mice, uh, where uh, adaptive transfer of other uh, subsets of exotic CD T cells uh, just resulted in very limited uh, control of tumor growth. Uh, and uh, consistent with uh, those uh, tumor volume data, we also found that uh, at uh, day 40 post uh, adaptive cell uh, transfer, uh, world of the mice receiving TDR and TTSM cells were still alive, but uh, the, the, the mice uh, of other groups uh, were, were dead. Again, suggesting that uh, TDR and TTSM cells are much superior to TPEX and TEX cells uh, when used as adaptive cell therapy. And finally, we want to look at whether TDR and TTSM cells are also present in, in, in human cancers. Uh, uh, to, uh, to this end, uh, we just the uh, uh, we just uh, sorted the uh, activity the city T cells from paired um, uh, tumor tissues and during uh, inflows of patients with hepatocellular carcinoma uh, HCC. Uh, we uh, we we then did uh, both single cell RNA sequencing and single cell T cell sequencing. We assume that uh, those TCR, those TCR clones uh, showing up in both uh, tumor drilling lymph nodes and the tissues and uh, it depended at least twice in tumor tissues as uh, tumor reactive. Then uh, by uh, UMAP analysis, we found that uh, those uh, positive tumor reactive TCR clones from tumor draining lymph nodes are highly enriched in, in, in cluster one, uh, which are characterized as TCFN uh, positive, toxin, toxin negative, very much uh, resembling uh, the 
TDR and TTSM cells in tumor uh, bearing mice. And uh, consistent, consistently, uh, those TCR clones in cluster one um, um, minimally uh, barely express uh, exogen associated markers such as TOX, uh, PTCD1, and um, and the next three, uh, instead, the highly expressed memory associated markers such as CCR7, R7 receptor, and the transcription factor, uh, the B2. To further confirm the tumor directive of uh, those uh, TCR clones, uh, we just uh, pick up eight top ranking clones from the cluster one and then cloned their TCR uh, alpha chain and beta chain sequences and, uh, uh, and overjet presses those paired sequences in uh, CD, the T cells isolated from uh, patients with PBMC. Then we co-culturing, uh, then we co-culture uh, transfected the CD T cells with autonomous tumor cells for, for up to eight, uh, 18 hours. Then uh, we did the uh, interferon gamma antibody and the 4 mbb flow cytometry analysis to 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 examine their uh, reactivity to uh, tumor antigens. And uh, very strikingly, uh, we can uh, see that uh, six out of eight clones actually can uh, can can be assumed as tumor reactive. Uh, just based on their upregulation of 4MBB and the interferon gamma uh, per uh, direction after the co-culturing with autonomous tumor cells. So basically, uh, this data together uh, highlighted that uh, there are also uh, the presence, uh, there are also uh, TDRN, TTSM cells uh, in human cancers, at least in HCC. Just to summarize uh, this piece of work, uh, basically we found that TDRN, TTSM cells are bona fide memory T cells, and the uh, exogen associated epigenetic scarring marks the TPACs, but not the TDRN, TTSM cells, and the adaptive transfer of TDRN, TTSM cells um, much like represents a very promising immunotherapy strategy, and the TTLN TTSM series uh, uh, primarily responders to PD1, uh, PDR1, ICB. And uh, based on words, uh, uh, this data, uh, hopefully, I can convince you, you that. Uh, Actually, PD1, PDR1, ICB uh, targets uh, multiple layers of tumor specific CD, CD T cells in a spatial temporal manner. Uh, basically, first in uh, tumor draining lymph nodes, uh, PD1 or PDR1, ICB can target both TDRN, TTSM, and TPEG cells to drive, to drive their uh, proliferation and the further differentiation uh, into TPEX or, or TX cells and the further uh, mobilizing uh, those uh, progenesis, progenesis cells uh, out of uh, lymph load uh, into circulation and uh, finally reaching tumor uh, tissues. And in tumor marking environment, uh, PD1 or PDR1 ICB may also further improve the proliferation of uh, TPEX cells as well as enhancing the functionality of uh, TX cells. Uh, basically, we propose that uh, all of those mechanisms watch us to support uh, anti tumor effects of PD1, PDR1 ICB. And uh, another point I would like to make here uh, is that uh, basically uh, PD-1, PDR, ICB monotherapy uh, seems in order to fundamentally change uh, the, 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 the differentiation uh, trajectory of, uh, 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 from uh, TDRN, TTSM cells to uh, TDRN, TPI cells and further to TME, TPI cells, and TME, TX cells. So uh, 
this observation may also uh, in part it explain why tumor re re recurrence uh, often occurs when ICB uh, treatment stops. And uh, for the uh, future direction, uh, from our own perspective, uh, the region may um, maybe just like this. Uh, we needed to uh, combine other uh, immunotherapy strategies with the PD-1, PDR-1, ICB uh, to uh, divert uh, TDRN, TTSM from uh, exogen trajectory. Uh, just like uh, uh, acute uh, viral infection, uh, we can think uh, like uh, this, uh, PD-1, PDR-1 plus X uh, combo uh, uh, immunotherapy can induce uh, TDRN, TTSM cells to differentiate into uh, functionally competent uh, effector uh, CD the T cells, and this effect T cells can migrate to uh, tumor marker environment to uh, to to effectively uh, uh, control or even clear uh, uh, tumor antigens. After the clearance of tumor antigens, uh, uh, we hope to form the secondary uh, memory CD the T cells, which may provide a very long lasting uh, anti tumor immunity uh, for the uh, non term control of tumor growth, uh, tumor metastasis, and uh, recurrence. Apparently, we still have a long way to go uh, in this regard. And this is the next but uh, uh, the most of the important slides. Uh, I would like to thank all of my uh, lab mem uh, members for their hard work on those projects. And I also want to take this opportunity to thank all of my uh, close collabor uh, collaborators, uh, including uh, Professor Hai Chi from Tsinghua University, uh, Professor Jian Qinxi from Fudan University, and uh, uh, Junhui and Kai uh, from uh, Xinyasen University, and uh, Be Professor Peyton Sen from Nanjing University. Uh, thank you all for your uh, attention, and I'm now ready to take your questions.